tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We always went by the motto and you know everybody knows this motto, the show must go on. And True. my sister, my sister baby Barreto always told me, you know Mindy, neither rains nor earthquakes nor floods nor fires will ever stop rep from producing a show i mean even yeah. just this season we had we had one power blackout and we actually proceeded with the show without microphones because the show wow. must go on it really yes. had to take a pandemic like covid the likes of which we've never seen before in our lives that really literally brought not only rap and the theater industry to a halt, but the whole world. I work mostly backstage because uh, I was telling you earlier, I got roped into theater because I was married to a theater actor. And so I would uh, do my theater wife thing and wait for him in the audience. And one day Bebot says, ah, so you're just seated there anyway. Come here nga and work backstage, Help backstage. <laughs> so i started working backstage so i did everything from crew props costumes lights uh and then one day when i was doing uh props they needed two nurses so they said okay get into your nurse and you bring the props on stage and off stage i said okay i'll do that so we did that and then afterwards another role i had to play somebody's wife uh, that was uh, a chic's wife shrouded in black so I went in and did that and I started uh, while I was shrouded in black and I was also in the stage group I would sneak all the props underneath my my costume so that, <laughs> so that when it was time to strike I didn't have anything to strike anymore because I was super hot with me and I, I had, I had I ad lib that that uh, that wife would drink all the you'd secretly drink all the all the alcohol on the on the trays so I could sneak out the out the thing and people says I like that Sigira. so next time I got a line <laughs> and that's how my acting for rap started. You know you know what you know what yeah. my, my sister baby told me she says you know Mindy if Bebot and I, with more Bebot, never screamed or shouted at these people. They would not be where they are today. <laughs> she always said, they are so good. They are the best because of Amador screaming and shouting. But, you know, that was, to her, that was the whole reason why Amador, she, um, she really used to beat say, them up and whipped them up yeah. into shape. Bebot used to say that if you could stand in front of her and perform, you could stand in front of anybody and perform. Yeah. And to some yeah. extent, that's the truth because you learn to deal with your, you know, your, there's a, anybody who gets up in front of an audience to speak will have some kind of a stress. And to think that, um, when, to have that vision of not, normally you would say, okay, I want a company to, you know, uh, the vision would be only for the company, but to actually envision an industry that's a revolutionary yeah. kind of thinking yeah. because she knew yeah. she was blazing a trail of something. Uh, and and it, I think it didn't matter to her how she got there. She was really clear on that vision. Yeah. But that's the nature of a repertory company. That, repertory that is what repertory is, is about. Yeah. yeah. A repertory yeah. Company it's always is the, the same. Sustainable, the same yes. Yeah. Actors. Yeah. The same yeah. round robin the roles. Yeah, right. And you also you know, also, you also, go, Michael. So that that was a challenge of it because you you get casted, and you're trying to be, you know, not casted in the same type of roles. But as a repertory actor, they would they can already you know when the script comes out. Oh, these are the scripts for next year. We kind of already know who's gonna do what role, you know, because <clears> it's, uh, oh he's the romantic lead. He's a funny one. Oh, he's the dad role. He's the sister. She's the ganyan. So we already know kind of who's going to get what role. And we try to audition for the ones that are unlikely to get. We're unlikely to get to stretch us. So a lot of personalities, a lot of famous people went through life in rep. And, you know, uh, um, they're now movers and shakers, like you were saying. 
name the theater company. There's a rep veteran connected with that company. So um, the, and the industry is really grew out of out of repertory. And like Leia, uh, we produced the first Tony Awardee from Rep, uh, and she also uh, won um, the, the prize in West End, the same uh, the Olivier, award, the right? Olivier. Yeah, yeah. Is that Olivier. award? <laughs> um, yeah. Olivier, yeah. The Olivier yeah. Award. Olivier so uh, yeah. they can really go from from repertory to anywhere in the world and i think now a lot of the touring productions especially of miss saigon have filipino actors who at one point were with rep we are like all the theater companies actually if you if you look into broadway and the west end they're all going digital they're all going online they're all streaming live they're they're, they're pulling out all all old shows and posting them just to keep theater alive and that is exactly what we're doing. We have actually, um, with uh, uh, it was an idea of uh, Vivi Vergara and Lisa Batukan, uh, my artistic director, and they're coming out with something called Repisodes. They are episodes, but we add the word rep to it, so it's called Repisodes. Our first Repisode was actually featured at Open House. And it was uh, Kiss and Tell. It was all the cast of Stage Kids. They all came out and they they talked about their experiences during the play. Our second... Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.